we missed a few chances first half and uh, we missed a few chances but we were not playing well. We started playing well second half when we made a few substitution. You know this uh, under 23 thing is, is killing football. Uh, I don't know whose idea was it and I think whoever it was his idea should should be thrown in the sea and drowned there because it doesn't make sense. You know to have an under 23 here, uh, 523 for what? We are not quite playing for the Olympics, we're not playing for the World Cup. It's a business. You cannot dictate to me in my business say, who shall I play. Next time they will come and say because we're giving you a grant you can play, you must play two banana banana. We have to play them. I mean this is diabolical this under 22 thing, honestly. We are not a development uh, a group here. We are a professional group. I think this under 23, what they should do in the next AGM is to propose that they must have a, a reserve league for all under 23. Finish. Mm -hmm. That's where it should be. They have it's too much money there in football. They can afford the reserve league for under 23. Also, again, it's not fair to the younger players because I hear that in this league last year, they would, last season, they would bring in 523 and take out the three within five minutes. What are you saying to somebody else's child when, when he walks into the park five minutes and then you pull him off? I mean, you're destroying the, the, the kids. This whole thing is about destroying a, a, a young talent because when you substitute, you have to go for them. You cannot substitute an experienced player. You have to start with the under-23. And it puts the kids uh, at a disadvantage, you know, because they walk in here, they look at themselves and, hey, maybe it's me who's going to be out today. You know, that is why we keep rotating. That is, Osman was not feeling well when he came back from uh, Afcon. Sambo has applied for South African citizenship. So as soon as he gets a citizenship, we will, we'll bring him to the team. And uh, the, the other one, the other three players, we don't want to bring them now. We want to bring them in January when now we say we're going flat out you know so we, we can survive with the team we've got mm -hmm. so in January we'll bring in three three other four winners not really you know I keep hearing people the so-called experts saying it, it might be a little bit difficult for, for Cosmos because it's one stream what's the difference you know whether it's two or three or four streams makes no difference we have to play for 90 minutes with referees and linesmen and that's it you know it's to plan is to plan properly for each and every game. We knew that these guys uh, will come here, they'll pressurize us uh, deep, they'll close us down deep, uh, but we knew that we much more experienced and fitter than them, you know, and we knew that they will break. And if we get the first goal, we know that the second goal will come. Yeah, it's very competitive, you know. They came here for a draw, same as uh, with Bank Spurs. With Bank Spurs came here for a draw, they packed the defense, you know. And uh, I think it would be much more easier for us if we pick up points at home. Because I think when you go away, it will be easy because they have to open up. They have to come at us. They can't sit away and at home as well. At home, they have to show off a little bit and attack us. And that's when you're going to nail them, you know. So we plan the games differently. Here, we're very patient, patient and patient. We get one goal, we'll be happy. We're not looking for two or three. One is enough to get the three points. And that's what you need up front there. You need two experienced players and uh, they're doing a good job. Even Nognano when he came on, Nognano is not a left wing, he's a left back. But we know that if he gets into the box there, he causes a lot of problems because he's skillful, he's quick, you know, and he created the, the swing for us today. Yeah, he's, uh, he's now a, a senior goalkeeper coach. Uh, he'll be going to take courses uh, very soon in Switzerland. And uh, it's a way, you know, saying thank you. He's got a lot of experience. Uh, as a coach, you need all that experience around you, you know, because I cannot do everything on my own. Uh, and when you bring in players who, who, who have contributed so much to the game, uh, who are players who don't drink, you know, I've brought, I've brought players who drink here and I was... Uh, I was embarrassed a few times, so I make sure Shawe doesn't drink, Baku doesn't drink, Caesar doesn't drink, which makes my job easier because when they comment, they comment soberly. For us, especially because we had the playoffs, and from the playoffs, we had a week off, and then we started with our preseason, uh, expecting the league to start, and then an extra two months, so yes, a massive relief for us just to start and just to see also where we're at now. I'm not going to go as far as to say there's not much difference because we also know that the season only just started now, so a team like Cosmos is definitely going to improve. It's almost probably got three or four guys who are still waiting on the registration papers, you know. But for us, yeah, I think we're going to compete with each and everyone. We're not going to be walked over, as I think we proved a little bit today. So, yeah, and in Cape Town, we're going to be more difficult to beat, most definitely. Oh, most definitely, because they proved that anything is possible. You can make the impossible, or what people perceive to be impossible, you can make it possible. So they're definitely an inspiration to us here. Yeah. Oh, most definitely. This is only for me. It's only the beginning. You know, I've got a big ambition for myself. But yeah, you first need to crawl before you can run. So definitely, yeah, I'm going to get there, inshallah, one day.
feel that uh, should be, we should be getting more ex-pro players uh, being in charge? I definitely think so. I think um, they understand things a little bit better. They, I think they know how to behave on the bench. They, need, they know how to behave a little bit better. And also from a development perspective, you know, the more ex-professionals can start working with the youth as well, the better players we can produce for the likes of Bafana and the under-23s and whatever the case may be.